first shot for the snipe this morning. Jackdaw straight down. straight into the farm and steal the uh, animal feed. There's also a possibility that there might be a squirrel in these trees as well to the front of me. Beautiful shot with a snipe. Feathers. Oh, snipe. Absolutely pulverised that pigeon. Flicking around there, look. Beautiful shot. That hit like a steam train. Long range. I think it was a uh, rook or crow. Oh, snipe absolutely wellied that magpie. That was 32 meters. So 35 yards. Right, as you've just witnessed, that's two shots. Uh, first one on a magpie, second one on a long range. I think it was either a crow or a rook uh, for the uh, Sandal Field Sports Snipe. And uh, it's perfect conditions today, no breeze whatsoever. So it allows for some good vermin shooting. Uh, and if I can get to what range I'm comfortable shooting at, then I uh, should get quite a bit. So I'm using a laser because I'm rubbish at estimating range without one and shooting sub 12 foot pan 2.5 without a laser would just be crazy. Uh, I'm rubbish at HFT, absolutely rubbish because you can't use a laser obviously. So I don't really enjoy it as much as being out and doing some vermin shooting. So I'm going to carry on and see how we get on. Oh, straight down. Plob it again with a snipe. That was 49 meters, so 54 yards. Okay. I find to be successful as a corvid and pigeon shooter, more corvid, you need to think how the uh, birds think. And normally, when they're in like a group of birds, a flock, there's always, and they're going down to feed, there's normally always a sentry bird, especially with crows. Uh, magpies and rocks, things like that. Uh, so, to my front, I'll show you in a little while. There's a few trees, and then just round the corner in the hole in the barn, uh, in the wall, there's a big tree, and there's usually a sentry bird in there. So, my tactic is to get into position, wait for the sentry bird to land and already be in static position, uh, and then shoot the sentry bird because that's the best chance you get. So, we'll go around and we'll see if there's a bird on it now. It's not forced to be, but I'll show you. Actually, seen one. Wow, headshot 44 meters, 48 yards. <laughs> Did you hear the crack on that and see how quick it died? It died before it left its perch. So, that was a good demonstration of uh, when a bird sits in the, a sentry tree and is watching over the, while the other ones feed, and it gives a 
obviously a warning call if it sees danger but unlucky for that bird uh, it got sniped <laughs> so he ain't calling nobody well I can't find that bird I said I might be able to get as you can see it's just absolutely thick with undergrowth oh, but he fell out this tree shot. That's another long range jackdaw with a snipe. Dead before it left its perch. Well that was another cracking long range jackdaw as I said dead before it left its perch really pleasing it's doing it absolutely brilliant right I'm just giving you some perspective of a uh, GoPro and wide angle and at the end of this barn it looks on our miles but the end to the end of the barn is probably uh, 35 meters 37 yards ish and then past that if you can see is the part of the farmyard and the trees that's where the uh, jackdaw one's just come in look that's where the jackdaw was well as you saw us look up to this barn here and down there only about I don't know, 15 meters where a big Covid. So I just came round and took him standing support. I just had to make sure that the uh, shot, if it went through the bird, which it's highly unlikely with 2.5, uh, sub 12, it's going to be a safe shot. And as you see, he went straight down, kicked a little bit, but we can go and pick him up now. You'll see as well along the bottom, there's these big thick wooden bars. Uh, Blank, sorry. There he is, look. Nicely dispatched the snipe again. Oh, what about that? <laughs> ah, lovely. Straight through the beams, straight down he went. <laughs> so as I said, that was a bit of a trick shot. Uh, I wouldn't have took it unless I were confident. I'm really confident with this, this minimal recoil with it. And it just shoots, as you've seen, absolutely superbly. So I've been practicing standards over the last couple of weeks. I've been out with Springers and I was happy to take that. Straight through the wooden slats and knocked it straight off its perch. Yeah, I'm pleased with that.